Oh, this is schön. Hier runter? Bestimmt, ja. Yes, finally arrived in Rotenburg, guys, and this was our first impression. This next building you're going to see, this Asian building, we'll come back to it at the end of the video, and I'm going to tell you what this building is. So we're just going to turn to the left and see that round building. I'll tell you what it is. So stay tuned. Wow. Hi, welcome to today's vlog. We are finally in Rotenburg of the Tauber. So Tauber is a water body. I think it's a river. I'll just check and if there's a correction I have to make, I'll put it somewhere right here. So Tauber is the water body where Rotenburg is next to or on top of Oberhalb the Tauber. I think that's what it stands for, up the, up the Tauber, the up the Tauber. Anyways, it's pretty touristic and we are lucky today is um, the open Sunday. So shops are open today. There's probably a lot going on. This place is full cars every, 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 everywhere. And we're lucky to get this parking space. So I'm really excited to take you guys along. And yeah, let's tour Germany, travel within Germany. And yes, if not yet um, subscribed to this channel, what are you waiting for? please do and if not yet follow me on instagram um it's at the phoebe way or at phoebe so i'm going to write that as well so you go check the pages out and on twitter as well it's the phoebe way or on my backup it's at mamazel so mamazel mamazel underscore i think so check out check me out on the social media platforms and i have another news to tell you guys this month in november but i'll save it for december so Keep following, keep subscribing, keep liking, keep commenting, guys. I want to hear from me. I want to see how you guys find Rotenburg up the tower. Let me just say Rotenburg for short. There are other Rotenburg, Rotenburgs uh, in Germany, but this is Rotenburg up the tower. So if you're looking for where to go within Germany, where to visit with your family over the weekend or on a long weekend, yes. Today's the 31st of October. Tomorrow is the 1st of November. So tomorrow is a holiday in our state. So we're just taking this weekend easy and breezy and yeah so see you guys come along come along come along yes i'm really turned up today i'm really excited i am really really happy the sun is out ah my god has blessed us and october has been an amazing month it's not been easy i've been sick twice but i'm good today like right on time for the excitement and for the adventure so come with me guys come with me come with me come with me and i'm loving my skin as well i'll share with you my skin but if you want to see it check me out on instagram because that's what i'm going to share it. let me just be honest so check me out on phoebe and let's talk about skin and lifestyle there and also traveling like across europe and traveling in general on a budget let's talk about that as well and the phoebe way is all about life in germany tips on how to survive in germany and all of that every sunday at least every sunday is the video sometimes there'll be another video on thursdays as well so yep andiamo
halt ziehen. Richtung Sonne gucken dann. So typical of Germany, the bakeries are open. They actually regularly open on Sundays till midday. But today was special, so they were open throughout. And I was looking forward to seeing this Kete Wolfart, Wolfart shop. But unfortunately, it was not open by the time I got there and I missed the opening times. But when it comes on, I'll let you know. So this is Plain Line. This is the picturesque part where everybody takes their pictures at. And I'm going to show you the other side of Plain Line in a bit. But that place was full and packed that day. It was full and packed. I understand it was a beautiful day out. So that is Plain Line. Everybody knows this place with the well over there with the fountain and those two Fachhäuser. And this is Kete Wolfhardt. And they have Christmas articles with like Christmas objects and all of that. But unfortunately, I missed the opening times. They opened by the time I was on the other side of the town. By the time I came back, they were closed. So it's a Christmas shop. I was looking forward to seeing the Metzgerei that had different things on offer but apparently they were closed at that day or today and I guess it's so popular that we heard someone saying that the day before on Saturday they had a queue right up that street so unfortunately we couldn't see it but yes you see a lot of Christmas goods and winter goods there and also typical for Rotenburg of the Tauber are the Schneeballen, so the snowball pastries, and that is coming right up. There, yes, they have lots of those, so they are dusted in powdered sugar, and different um, bakeries have those as well. So it's either you have the Baumkuchen or this one. And the colorful flat ones are Lebkuchen. They are usually covered in chocolate or different things in sugar, but that was Lebkuchen on the shelf. Now we're going straight to the Marktplatz, so that's the market square, and the yellow building you see is the city council. Thank you. 
kommt die Musik? Und das hier vielleicht auch. Sauerkraut. Zu Krutsch. Zu Krutsch. Die Tirol sind zurück. Ja, wir können tragen. Also ich will da halt. Ich will nicht drin sitzen. Ein bisschen hoch, was die da dran haben. Ja. Ich sag, das ist auf dem Bild, das ist nicht drin. Ich komme, ich würde den Google, was der verliert. So we are checking the Google reviews of the first things that we found that had really nice offers for Bob Meister Hof. So um, we're going to check. We're going to check what they have, and then we'll let you guys know. This is the St. Jacob's Church. I think it's a church, not a cathedral. I think it's a regular church. And it was closed, so we couldn't go in to see how it looked like inside. But I'll show you views of the other side much later in the video when we went around and saw from the other side. So stay tuned for that. And it's really huge too. And this was the model of this of this town actually with the church in it as well. house that Pope Francis, the current Pope, lived in and this is where he learned German so that is also in Hockenburg.
that day that we went, the 31st of October, we were very lucky to experience the Herbst Messe. So it's like the fall trade fair. And it was more like for kids. And it smelled like Christmas already because of the almonds, the roasted almonds and all of that. So I liked it, but it was more for kids. And then this is where we decided to also get a small snack so we could delay dinner or like we could delay lunch i mean not dinner so our lunch was a late lunch and this was where we got our snack and it was full of families and they also have an offer for people want to do the bus tour so or actually a bus coach i mean the romantic coach <laughs> not the bus coach but the romantic coach um with stops in different cities like augsburg frankfurt and all of that but they have regular times that they used to have like they used to offer it so if you're interested just check out deutsche bahn and type in romantic coach i'm sure you should find it but yes this was really a highlight because not everybody gets to get a see this when they go to written books so we were very lucky and some of the shows were open as well This is the entrance or the staircase up to the city wall, so the protective wall to protect the town from attacks from outside and you could basically patrol or walk through the city wall and this is something totally different. It was a new experience, it was high up and you had the complete view over the town and also outside you could see through the, um, the windows or the little openings and you could see what was going on outside the town as well. So that was the Pulver Tomb, that was the powder we tower, and that's the one up. that we used to go Wow, up. these are quite steep. Ah, oh, this is schön. Da war ich noch nicht. Bitte? Das und Höhenangst. Bisschen zusammen ist aber fast. Guck mal. Mach mal your rows. Mary Sylvie's. Oh, somebody from New Jersey. Haben die gespendet oder? Weiß nicht. Kenneth and Amy Gonzalez. Alabama, USA. Heinz in Ghana. Yeah. Ich glaube, die haben es gespendet. Tokio. Mhm. Mhm. Aber das ist voll schön mit diesem roten Balkon da hinten. Ja.
and this was the Strafturm, so the punitive tower, and this was just for misdemeanors. So I'm just imagining where they would punish those who had bigger crimes. park is probably my favorite part of this town it's a big 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 garden with one of the best views really best views over the hills and i really enjoyed my time there it's really beautiful and sunny it was so sunny i mean, imagine how this place would be in summer so book garden or the book garden blake highly highly recommended Yeah. Oh, yeah. Und mir einfach so Herbstspiele. What the heck is wrong with me? And now the food. So this is Bogarten Palais, beautiful restaurant. They have a, uh, a hotel as well. So if you want to spend the night in Rotenburg, this probably is a good place, but I can recommend the food. The food, and they had really pretty decor as well. The food was lit. And this sign says, Freibier gab's gestern. So free beer was yesterday, not more today. <laughs> that was funny. But this food is called Scheufele. Mine, I had Scheufele. Paul had um, Kirschpetzle, but I had real authentic Franconian food of Frankish cuisine with um, potato wow, knödel. Amazing, amazing. the late lunch almost dinner we walked about a, around a bit more and that's the um, Jakobs Kilsha again from this view and then we went to the other places but I did not want to go inside the museum because the weather was so good and I feel like museums are for like bad weather days when it's raining or snowing and it's cold outside but I didn't want to do the um, the indoor thing. I just wanted to stay out and see things, how the city was from the outside. So yes, and they have a lot of cafes, so you are not going to get hungry. This is their garden full of herbs, so they have herbs as well. And then I love this house. This house is so, so pretty, guys. This is the Criminal Museum, so this is where they have all the punitive measures from the medieval times in this building. As I said, I don't want to go in there and went to another tower this part is like going to the modern part of the town with the shop so as i said earlier the, it was an open shop sunday so some of the shops were open but not all of them 
now we've come to the olden part again where you're going to see the part of the city tower that was for protection and then we also yeah. went for some sunset as well went back onto the the walk again within the city wall so we're just walking through still with the sun with the sunset you know it was really nice as well <laughs> so this is the wear system i was telling you about just with the spital bastai i think that's what the, the name that called it so it's a wear system and then we also saw different parts from the medieval times again so this is where they used to protect themselves from where they had to attack their enemies from basically from this whole building this is the spital hof so they have like a home for the agent there i think this was an amphitheater or was like a theater so it was also cool and then that's when our trip came to an end after we did that full walk on the other side we kind of got tired and it was getting dark after sunset so we decided to set on and start going home and guys this was golden book of the tower line again I've shown you plenty of different lights and now we do have to take our leave see you in the next video guys thank you so so much for watching bis zum nächsten mal ade